One of our most pressing needs is to repair the roads, which have been allowed to deteriorate badly. We have secured funds to repay Cross Hill, and this work will begin on this later this spring. We will bond an additional $2.2 million for other badly needed road repairs, and we're in the process of developing an ongoing long-term plan of maintenance of road. As a matter of fact, if you all want to come to town council tonight, it will be introduced there. Uh, it will take time, but we will fix our roads and the streets that we need to keep them fixed. In the same vein, we're putting together a long-range capital improvement plan. In the past, capital improvements and expenditures were done on an ad hoc basis. We cannot wait until we absolutely need something to address it. We must have a formal process which includes citizen input to identify future needs, explore alternatives, and determine costs and appropriate funding. We've never done that before because obviously nothing has gotten done. Accountability and responsibility are important. It is important that every town employee be responsible and accountable for his job or her job performance. Beginning with the creation of job descriptions for each town employee, we have begun the process to overhaul our administrative procedures to ensure accountability and responsibility for everyone working in the town. Economic development does re remain a key concern. I've initiated conversations with builders and developers and improved coordination between our Economic Development Commission, Planning and Zoning, and my office. We have re revitalized a working relationship with our Economic, economic Development Director and Commission in the Chamber of Commerce. EDC Director was given clear objectives and goals for the first time in four years. Appointed a new EDC Chair and revitalized commissioners with a new mission statement, clear goals, and objectives. We are working on maintaining better relationships, interaction, coordination between EDC, I already said that, PNZ in my office. That's the first time that's ever been done. In the past four months, internally, we have changed internal staff committee chairman. We've structured town hall to put all of the, our developmental town departments in the old library to make it easier and more user friendly for the people who use those services. We've updated job descriptions. Many hadn't been done since 1996, and six employees didn't even have a job description. We've initiated files on poor performances, much needed for any union member or employee dismissals if needed. We've opened our communication with department heads, announced full staff evaluations now that they have their job descriptions. They'll, complete this, they'll be complete as soon as we start the, the uh, budget. Some staff's never been evaluated in town. How can you run a, a business like that? In the past four months, for the benefit of the community, in no order, we have revitalized the WPCA Commission, which is your Water Pollution Control Authority. The last time they met was in 2008. Uh, we can't even talk about sewers in Monroe and all the other septic problems we've had without having an up and running WPCA. And again, come to council tonight, you'll hear just how much they've been, how, how much they've been planning. We changed appointment on commissions on many vital boards of commissions, getting rid of many non-performers. We revitalized the town website, now rated as one of the best in Connecticut by the Connecticut Post. Um, we've initiated Facebook pages, both from my office and the town of Monroe, and uh, they are on blogs. Jason Jester, if you're here, you've got a great blog. I'm not here to blog, this is for good information. Um, we have a listserv, which is something else people listen to, that I listen to and have got it done. Uh, coming again tonight, we were going to start revitalizing the NA Blight Ordinance. The ordinance was passed in by town council in 2002, and the appeals board was created soon after, but there is no meetings on file in town hall, and there are many blighted areas around town that have never been addressed. Uh, we've obtained a, an $80,000 grant for much needed town hall window replacement. We revitalized, along with Deverly Hobie, a $500,000 grant for much needed police department renovations. The grant was awarded in 2004, and we almost 